with the WFSTI today, what we're doing is we are working on getting it ready for a roadworthy. I bought this car uh, from an auction, cheapest one in Australia at the time. Been up on jack stands as you can see for a little while. And what I've done so far, nothing much really. Taken off the broken front carbon splitter, taken off the um, carbon side skirts, taken off the carbon re diffuser. And I was actually able to swap that carbon re diffuser for a set of uh, OEM standard STI shocks and springs, which is great. The car at the moment really, really low. It's on some coilovers, coilovers uh, Neomac Silvers, which are actually quite a good brand coilover, but they are really low. Yeah. The car's like way down low on the ground. It won't pass the roadworthy, and even if I jacked it up to the maximum height, I doubt it would pass. Anyway, I have the original shocks. So what we're going to do today is we're going to swap these out for those. How hard is it? I don't think it's very hard. I've done it before. Um, well, not in this car, but on my S15 Sylvia, which is the it's the far one. I don't know if you can see that. The far one at the back there. That is a DC2 Type R Integra. We'll get to that another day. Meanwhile, okay, oil change on Weiss car and uh, <laughs> no oil change on the Tesla. That's a brilliant thing. Anyone who doesn't like a Tesla, you're mad in the head. Sorry. Uh, people are not going to be happy with that. Anyway, to change out the rear shocks on your WX or STI, take out the boot mat. Two 14mm bolts. They've already backed them out a little bit using my uh, cordless impact. Here, of course, the car's up on jack stands properly. And under here, pretty easy. You've got a 17mm bolt there. And I'm probably going to have to take that one out or the other end of the control arm just to drop that down so we can pull that out. After the shocks are out, another day, we've got some brand new rear rotors, brand new brake pads. They'll go in there as well, giving that a little bit of a clean hand ceramic coat too. Put jack stands on, all right? Don't get under a car with just one of them. Not safe, yeah? Got it pretty loose now. All right, taking off the bolts at the top 14 mil. Now, what you need to do is you need to take out 17 mil bolt to the to the shock. 17 mil bolt going to your brake uh, hub assembly, and you also got to take that one off as well. That's a 14 mil, uh, and that's the connection to sway bar. All right, going up around there. Now, once I pull that bolt out, this whole arm should drop down a whole lot more. There's a little attachment here, but I don't think that will make much of a difference. Uh, uh, it's probably going to break my arm now or something. <coughs> ah, oh, shit. <laughs> anyway, <coughs> job done. Right, let's have a look at you. Didn't actually take that long once I figured everything out. You can probably swap the shocks out and, I don't know, 10 minutes aside once you've got uh, everything under control. Aftermarket coilover, OEM shock. I think you can tell there's a little bit of a difference in height there. That's, oh, I don't know, eyeballing it. It's at least two inches shorter. Uh, these are a reasonable brand of coilover, apparently. Again, I got kind of lucky when I bought this car at auction. It came with a bunch of aftermarket stuff. Coilovers are probably worth, I don't know, a couple of grand or something like that. Um, eventually, we'll put them back in once we've swapped the original ones back in to get it roadworthy, get a number plate on it, get it back on the road. Uh, yeah, anyway, next step, let's see if we can get that one back in. <laughs>
Okay, we are done with both the rear shocks. We've put them all in. Look at that, beautiful. OEM shocks. Uh, when the inspector has a look at the car, should be impressed with how clean it is, I hope. Um, yeah, take out that 17mm bolt, that 17mm bolt, and that 14mm bolt for the sway bar link. And that's you done on the other side here. Didn't film it, exactly the same. Same kind of thing. We've got the original suspension back in with the three bolts removed and reinserted and we've retightened the 14 mm box at the top so we're going to have a crack at the front suspension now mm, same but different you know what's going on here is we are going to loosen but not fully remove the 12 mm box by three on the top there and then uh, underneath once we support the bottom of the uh, control arm which is that long bit under there with the jack we're going to loosen up them 19 mm bolts top and bottom uh, knock them out, swap everything around. Before we take that strut out, we're going to disconnect that line there from that little mount that is a ABS sensor, I believe. And there's the brake line with that little, oh, looks like a looks like a 12 mil bolt as well. And that should swap over straight onto our OEM shock again there, which I've already cleaned up nicely. <laughs> bolts out already top one's gone out now top bolt had a washer on this side towards the front uh, remember that the bottom bolt doesn't seem to have one so what we're gonna do now is see if we can remove that lower bolt uh, look at that there we go. Uh, hopefully this this won't move around too much all right we're good that's loose Lines loose there, lines loose there. Gonna remove the three bolts on top. That should uh, drop straight out. One, two, last one. Three. There we go. Alright, here's our. OEM shock. Uh, yeah, let's get this bad boy back in. done so the uh, front struts are both both in started with the front left now you know I, I should have remembered this from the last time I done a suspension spot but what you actually want to do especially if you're doing front suspension is take both suspensions out like uh, whether it's the um, original ones or the coil levers take them both out at the same time because then the lower control arms which are joined by the sway bars will drop down evenly gives you enough room to put the new ones back in because I was struggling there and I'm like oh yeah don't just do one at a time take out both the struts put them both in uh, tighten everything up and then you're good to go uh, the old suspension I'm gonna give them a real good clean of course and um, put them in storage for a little bit these will go back in they're pretty low but they are adjustable you can actually see the um, bottom mount screws in and out of the uh, threaded lower shock mount whatever you want to call it um, I'll download a instruction manual or something at some stage but yeah original struts are back in what is the next thing we're gonna do I've got a, a new set of front and rear discs and a new set of front and your rear brake pads I'll swap them back in 
Actually, nothing really wrong with these. They're a bit rusty from sitting up for a couple of months, but they're fine. Plenty of meat in the brake pads, but you know what? Got a good deal on them. Uh, so we're going to chuck them in. Thanks everyone for uh, coming along for that ride. Uh, I only drew a little bit of blood kind of there. That's kind of normal. You've got to sacrifice something for the car world. That's okay. Brake rotors, pads next. I've got an OEM intake. I'll swap that around for as well. Like I said, we are doing the great unmodification of the uh, auction un sight unseen special cheap STI. Get it all almost, almost entirely stock for uh, a roadworthy in Victoria. Mm, the only thing I haven't got really is a uh, uh, stock exhaust. This is a really, really nice exhaust. It's a NVIDIA Q300 turbo back. Sounds amazing. Little loud. Gonna gonna quieten it down using <laughs> something for the roadworthy too. There we go. Thank you.